he may have not known what the basic principle of the New Deal was, but I do. Um, and that is the idea that someone has to be in charge. Mm-hmm. We get really deeply uncomfortable with situations in which there is not someone obviously in charge. And um, that's a big part of what makes people uncomfortable with free markets and the kind of, you know, Hayekian organic orders. That there's nobody particularly in charge. And so when there's a problem in society, we're unhappy with our access to health care and health insurance because it seems too expensive and onerous in some ways and unpredictable. Then what we need is to have someone in charge of this for us. FDR was right in the sense that um, what makes a, a society like ours really thrive is experimentation. Where he was wrong was in his belief that he was the guy in the white lab coat and the rest of this the little Rats. The FDR kind of Barack Obama view of the world isn't just about these people with kind of authoritarian um, habits and a kind of arrogance and habit of rule um, imposing themselves on other people because that's not really how it works. Um, they don't impose themselves. People people ask for them to impose themselves, and that's the um, that's the part of our political culture that really needs some work. I think. And, um, you know, getting people to understand um, how the things and situations and processes in life that seem most satisfactory to them actually come to be. Mm -hmm. And um, these things are really, really complicated. They're hard to understand. None of us will understand very many of them because they're they are that difficult. And instead, what kind of creeps in is, well, here's the people we hate. And maybe we can have our politics be about that instead. 